Uh, it is all your money, and this is new now from the Pentagon, releasing the tab so far for U.S. military operations in Libya. The cost of missiles alone, nearly $300 million. Uh, William Lajeunesse is live in L.A. He breaks down the numbers. What you find, will you? Well, Bill, weeks ago when the president spoke to the nation and said U.S. involvement would be limited and narrow in scope, 68% supported the use of military force in Libya. Now that support is down 14 points and 59% are against arming the rebels. Every week it appears our patience grows thinner and Americans' wallets grow lighter. As missiles fired on Libya last month, the cost to U.S. taxpayers soared. Almost 200 Tomahawks, $1.5 million each. Operating a fighter jet, 10 grand an hour. Almost 500 one-ton warheads, $40,000 each. One downed F-15, 60 million. Maybe we ought to think about all of these things before we start blowing things up, because that seems to be what we've been doing lately. We blow something up, then we go back and rebuild it. And experts say the price tag doesn't end there. A limited no-fly zone, 30 to 100 million a week arming the rebels as much as 100 billion dollars a year humanitarian aid 25 million so far and the cost of rebuilding Libya never ending if this continues on uh, for you know months instead of weeks and our NATO allies uh, aren't able to take over uh, a large share uh, of the cost then the the cost of the US would start to mount quickly and we could see the administration uh, wanting to put in a supplemental appropriation bill sometime later this summer and the reason for that, of course, is we're spending $110 billion in Afghanistan, $40 billion in Iraq. Now, so far, about 10,000 have died in the fighting in Libya's civil war, what many call a tribal war. And, Bill, while it's impossible to put a price tag on human life because of that stalemate, as you know, Britain and France want us to re-engage military, and Italy now wants us to arm the rebels. The bottom line, the cost of this conflict isn't over. Yeah, and that, and that could go up, too, if you're going to arm the rebels. William, thank you for that. To our viewers at home, go to our website, foxnews.com. Under the tab right here, it's all your money that's on the top of our homepage. You can scroll down after you click on uh, the area where it's all your money, allocated costs, as we mentioned right here with William a moment ago. Uh, here is where things get interesting, though. Uh, let's say your household makes between one hundred and two hundred thousand dollars a year. You can input that number in our tax calculator online then come past the relative tax burden section and you can actually see the dollar cost to you at home. If your household is between one hundred and two hundred thousand dollars so far, your share is about seven dollars and fifty one cents. That's real money and real dollars. Do you approve of this idea? Yes, no or maybe you can cast your vote as well, online right now at foxnews.com.